I like what I do, and uh, and I suppose I, some writers I have said in print that they hated writing and it was just a chore and a burden. I certainly don't feel that way about it. It's, sometimes it's difficult. You know, you always have this image of the perfect thing, which you can never achieve, but which you never stop trying to achieve. But I think that at the core of it, there's this this image that you have, this interior image of something that is absolutely perfect, and and that's your that's your uh, signpost and your guide. You'll never get there, mm-hmm. but without it, you won't get anywhere. It's you always have that hope that today I'm going to do something better than I've ever done. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Back to another episode of Discount Grainy Days Takes Large Format Photos. This video is going to be loosely based on the writings, the themes, some quotes from Cormac McCarthy. Um, I myself, I've only read two books by Cormac McCarthy, Blood Meridian and No Country for Old Men. And I think Blood Meridian is one of the most beautiful books ever written, even though I do not completely understand it because I am small minded and I don't read a lot. So. I need to practice a little bit with my reading and so I can actually dive into the themes and what he's actually trying to say with the words on the paper. But just because you're not familiar with someone to a very high degree, you can still look at their writings, look at their quotes, and learn something about the creative process, and that's what I'm going to try to explain today. And one thing that I learned right off the bat is that he actually likes to work on multiple projects at once. And that's kind of something that I've struggled with personally because I feel like if I work on multiple things and I'm not putting 100% into the one project, that I'm going to kind of be lackadaisical and get lazy with that one project because I'm kind of spreading myself out to other things. But I've been trying to change that the past couple weeks, not only working on multiple projects, but working with the different film formats as well. And I feel like it kind of strengthens you in each one when you mess around and play with and dabble in things. And it makes you see work and it makes you see compositions in a totally different way. Faulkner once was asked if he wrote every day or only when he was inspired. And he said, I only write when I'm inspired, but I'm inspired every day. Mm. <laughs> Some people say, do you, do you plot everything out? And I said, no, no that would be death. I mean, you, you, can't, you can't plot things out. You just, you just have to trust in, you know, wherever it comes from. McCarthy's first novel actually came out in 1965, and at that time, people were calling him the greatest unknown writer because he wasn't that popular. And from 1965 to 1995, none of his hardcover books sold more than 5,000 copies. When everything is so quick these days with social media, with algorithms, with Instagram and everything like that, everyone's trying to get to the next thing as quickly as they can. And I find myself in that mindset sometimes. I look back at the two years that I've been on YouTube. And yes, I do see growth, but it's very slow. It's uh, very monotonous, and you're always looking for that one thing that might push you on to the next level, or the next thing, whatever that might be. But overall, you just have to look at the line and make sure it's still going up no matter how slow or no matter how much time it takes. One quote that really stuck with me that he said in an interview is, you spend a lot of time thinking about how to write, you probably shouldn't be talking about it you should probably be doing it. 
So I wanted to take this quote and actually get out and do things instead of just sitting at home thinking about doing things. So I wanted to go to two places. One is Red Bud, Illinois, which is about 35 minutes southeast. And the other is Morrisonville, Illinois, which is an hour and a half northeast. Um, the first day I went to Red Bud and I got there around six o'clock. Um, so I had from six to eight to take some photos. The light was decent. Um, it wasn't the best light, but it was a little bit overcast. So I actually had one composition in mind, which was this garage with the Red Bud water tower in the back. I really like how everything just fills the frame and there's really nothing in there that is extraneous or doesn't belong. And when I was taking this photo, a gentleman by the name of Rick actually came up behind me and he was cutting grass. He asked me what I was doing. Um, I ended up telling him about the car project. And the thing about these small towns is that everyone knows everyone. And this guy, Rick, actually knew the owner of this building. So he actually ended up giving me his number and he told me where he lived. And I actually went to his house and knocked on his door and he wasn't home. But um, that just gives you an idea of like what it actually means to go out and photograph an experience. It led to this interaction. It led to me getting a number, getting a location and potentially having a subject for the car project. And that kind of goes back to working on multiple projects at once. I was taking this photo for this YouTube video and it potentially led to a subject for the car project. The next day I went out to Morrisonville, Illinois, which is even smaller than Red Bud. And I remember looking at this town on Google Maps and it just looked like a cool old town. Um, there's around a thousand people that live there and walked around town and these towns are so small. People, a lot of people there don't even drive around their cars. They just drive around golf carts. And I was photographing this building with the uh, trucks and the grain bins in the background. And this gentleman in a truck actually pulled up and started asking some questions. And it turned out he was the mayor of the town. I told him about the project. Um, he said there was a guy named Bill just down the street, uh, gave me his number. I called Bill up and nobody answered. So I left a voicemail. So maybe I'll hear back from Bill. Maybe not, but above all else, I got out, I talked with people, I experienced these things, and I took some photos. I never had any doubts about my abilities. I knew that I could write, I just had to figure out how to eat while doing this. And obviously when you get to a certain point, when you're putting in a certain amount of work, you want to get paid for the work that you put in, you wanna be rewarded for that. And according to one of McCarthy's close friends, he would actually get offers from universities and colleges to speak about his work, sometimes up to $2,000 just for one talk. And he would turn them down and say that everything that I have to say is already on the page. And he would proceed to eat beans for a week and bathe in a lake. And I'm not saying you have to be that extreme with things when it comes to whatever you make uh, creatively, but there does need to be a little give and take and you can't say yes to everything. You can't um, try to monetize everything that you make. Um, above all else, I feel like you have to go with your gut and that's what I'm trying to do with things and prints and this channel and everything. I just want it to be um, true to myself, to stay authentic, not try to uh, make you guys lean one way or the other. I'm not trying to sell you things. I'm not trying to sell you gear. Um, above all else, I just want you to think and I want you to leave each video feeling inspired and just wanting to make and take photographs. That's all I'm trying to do. I might not be, be good at it, but that's what I'm trying to do. Well, please just simply care about, about things and people and, and be more appreciative. Life is pretty damn good. Even even when it looks bad and uh, we should appreciate it more we should be grateful I don't know who to be grateful to but you should be thankful for what you have 
And to end this video, I'm gonna talk a little bit about our sponsor, Squarespace. I use Squarespace because it makes things incredibly easy for me. Whether I wanna put up a gallery at my work, sell prints, or simply interact with people that follow along in my journey. Squarespace is an all-in-one platform where you can buy, sell, ship, and even have an exclusive member area on your website that allows you to monetize your work in an easy way. If you're interested in trying Squarespace and wanna support the channel, go to squarespace.com slash Brian Burks and enter the code Brian Burks for 10% off your first purchase. Listen, I'm not trying to gatekeep film or anything, but 35 millimeter film is for ants. Smurfs shoot 35 millimeter film. If Vern Troyer shot film, it'd be 35 millimeter. If Mini Me shot film, it'd be 35 millimeter. Listen, if I was on Honey, I Shrunk the Kids and you shrunk me down to the size of an ant, I'd walk into their house and they'd shoot 35 millimeter film. So right here we have a portrait of Tom and then right here is a portrait of Rich.